Do you have a special connection to dogs? So did Jose Rizal. According to a 1949 Sunday Times interview, Hilarion Martinez, who was a 20-year-old drum corps member at Rizal's execution, recounted, and I quote, Suddenly, as if from nowhere, a small dog appeared and ran in circles around Rizal's fallen body, barking and whimpering. Ang powerful ng imagery na yon, which is why at the Luneta Park, in the area where Rizal's execution is immortalized in bronze statues, they also added a dog. Years before, when Rizal was living in Dapitan, he had a dog named Syria. Syria supposedly lost her puppies because they were eaten by a crocodile. May crocodile pala sa Dapitan. This incident inspired him to sculpt La Venganza de la Madre, or The Mother's Revenge. This was an allegory for what the nationalists had to do to free the country, sacrificing themselves to save the vulnerable. That terracotta sculpture is now in the National Museum. I am guessing as a young boy in Calamba, Rizal named his dogs according to their personalities. He had a dog named Usman, which is an Arabic name common in the Muslim community, and it means wise. Ang taray. But he also had a dog named Vergüenza, a Spanish word that means shame. Kapag may kilalang makapalang mukha at walang hiya, tatawagin mo siyang sinvergüenza or without shame. A sculpture of the dog Vergüenza can be found with the sculpture of Jose Rizal as a boy at the Rizal Shrine in Calamba, facing the house. So, like many of us, pinagtripan din niya yung pangalan ng aso niya. Today is Rizal's 161st birthday, and for sure, marami tayong maririnig sa social media na mga magagaling na nagawa ni Jose Rizal. Polymax si Lolo Pepe, as in boss-level skills and achievements in so many things. Pero Rizal was also a regular guy. Hindi siya perfect. Napakarupok pa nga eh. He was relatable on so many levels. He played the lotto often. He liked to eat toyo. He wrote his sisters in Calamba to buy him stuff. I am sure kung buhay si Lolo Pepe ngayon, mahilig din yan sa add to cart. And he had a soft spot in his heart for dogs. Oh, di ba?